In this video, I will share with you with three strategies of mine on how to publish your first scientific article. I am a PhD candidate in my last year of studies, and so far I have been able to publish more than 15 different articles. One of my articles was published in Q2 Journal, and two more articles of mine are under review for Q3 Journals. By the end of this video, you will know everything you need to publish your first research article. Can't wait further, so let's go into it. First strategy, conferences. Try to find as many conferences as possible, apply for them and present your paper. Many conferences are offering different publication opportunities for their participants. For example, one of the articles of mine which is under review currently was first presented at the conference. How can you find conferences and how can you apply for them? You have to subscribe and follow people who are sharing different opportunities from different uh, universities. If you find people who have the same research interest and follow them, it doesn't matter where, it can be Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, then it's highly probably that you will see different opportunities that they will share and it will be very relevant for you too. So far I have participated in 20 different conferences and out of that I have been able to publish 8 of my articles. 10 out of 20 conferences that I participated, I found and saw in LinkedIn when people liked or shared the post. So the easiest way to be published, to be seen, is conferences. Find the conference, send your abstract, prepare your article, present your article, and wait for the opportunity to be published. Second strategy, you have to try to publish in less famous journals first. Believe me, if you start publishing, you will understand how things work in academia. This experience will help you to understand later on how to reach and how to write for top journals. When I started my PhD in the first year of my studies, I was able to publish three different articles in the Russian language. What did I do? I contacted one of my supervisors uh, from my previous studies and asked him for any opportunity that there is for publication. He sent me several opportunities. One of them was conference. Of course, I went for it and I was published afterwards. And two of them was publication opportunities. And it was very unknown journal. And despite that, I went for it because I knew that I had to get uh, any kind of experience to know how it works and how to prepare myself for good publications in future. I try to publish in other languages that uh, English language because journals that publish in the English language, they are quite demanding, but you are not ready for their requirements at this stage of your studies or your uh, academic work. That's why you have to go for lower journals for less famous journals and with less requirements and uh, demands. Uh, journals that are not in English, they are usually less demanding. I understood that only when I started publishing. I speak fluently Russian, that's why I went for publication in the Russian language, but what you can do, uh, you can publish in your own language. So find the journal, if you have already article, translate it into the language of the journal if you don't have any article just ideas then contact the editor and ask if there is any demand on specific topic because you want to prepare an article and prepare this article submit it believe me the publication process will be much much faster the third strategy try to publish with your supervisor or someone who already has a name. What I mean, uh, when you are publishing alone and you are the first or second year PhD student, it's quite hard for you to recommend yourself. But your supervisor or someone who you know who has been in academia for a long time will help you to publish faster because they will look at his records and your records and they will understand that it's mutual work even if you are alone uh, write all the article and it will increase your chances. In my case, all my articles were published with my supervisor from my master program because he has a very good record of publications, presentations and teaching. So when I apply uh, with him and I mention his name, I surely get higher chances to be published. In most cases, the articles were written by me and reviewed by my supervisor because he has quite enormous experience and he knows how to write and what to say and he was guiding me and in the end we could publish together more than 10 articles. Exactly this experience later on helped me to prepare two separate 
articles and send them for review to Q3 journals. If I hadn't agreed to publish with my supervisor or a target very high ranking journal, I wouldn't have been able to publish during three years but now because i have some kind of experience and i know what what i should present in my article and which journals i should target and how to target how to find these journals it's much easier for me to actually be published also when you get some kind of experience and you want to publish in high ranking journals you have to target a specific journal don't prepare your article and then make it for the specific journal no find the journal that you want to publish try to understand what are their requirements try to read several articles in this journal try to see their style then you can start preparing your article don't prepare your article and try to sending it here or there because you will waste a lot of time it will take almost one year for an article to be published because the reviewing process is three four months additionally you will have one or two months to correct the reviews only if your article is accepted please remember that and then after you review it send you back to the reviewers they will give you additional feedback if they want if they don't give you then it will be sent to editor and then and the editor will edit it and after that your article will be in the queue and after another six months it will be published if you like this content then you will like this video of mine where i share my experience on how to navigate and what to consider as a first year phd student i wish you good luck and see you in my next videos